Week number one of the federal trial over the largest grocery merger in U.S. history just wrapped up in downtown Portland today. It was the first time that we heard from CEO of the C&S Grocers as he took the stand. That's the company that would buy nearly 600 stores, many in our region, if the merger between Fred Meyer parent company Kroger and Safeway ownership Albertsons actually goes through. We checked back in with Bloomberg reporter Leah Nyland this evening for a recap, starting with takeaways from that CEO's testimony. Some of the big things he said, um, the company has pledged not to close any stores as a result of the merger, but he confirmed that that's not really an enforceable pledge and the company could later decide to shutter some stores if they determine that they have had poor performance. So they uh, acquired a number of stores in Wisconsin back in 2021. And since then, they have shuttered a couple because they have been performing poorly in the eyes of the company. So even though, you know, they're promising, you know, no store closures from the merger, there still could be some later on. They primarily don't operate supermarkets. In fact, they only operate 23 supermarkets in New York State and in Wisconsin, and they've only operated them since around 2021. So the entire idea of operating supermarkets would be a pretty new thing for CNS. Um, that being said, he reiterated that it's um, what the company wants to do in the future. You know, he said that they have primarily been a wholesaler, but this is like really a great opportunity for them as they see it to get into retail and this would be a transformative moment for their company. Now, during that testimony, the CNS leader used the word insulting to describe questioning from the Federal Trade Commission. We asked Leah what that was all about. One of the things that they said was, uh, or that has been implied, is that CNS is in this for the real estate. Um, so uh, there was a suggestion that maybe they just wanted to buy all of these stores so that they could take the real estate and sort of flip it. So they're not really interested in operating stores. They would take the stores and then sell off their real estate because oftentimes it's in like pretty great places in various cities. It might be worth more as something else. He said that was insulting, you know, um, that they are a grocery business and they've always wanted to be a grocery business. Okay, there you go. One week of the trial down. We're expecting two more weeks of it in downtown Portland. We'll be sure to bring you the latest highlights. One other interesting nugget from the trial this week is that CNS said if the merger goes through and they become the third company and they buy a bunch of these stores, they will not be bringing their Piggly Wiggly brand to the Northwest. Instead, they would rebrand 49 Safeway and nine Albertson stores to become QFCs and then they'd leave the other stores with their original names. But many of you wrote to us last night when we mentioned something along those lines, remembering that Piggly Wiggly stores were in Oregon long ago. Kim wrote to say, I remember Piggly Wiggly in the 1960s. It was on Barbara Boulevard near the Capitol Highway exit off of I-5 South. I remember shopping lots of times with my grandfather. It was the closest grocery store to their home. And Candy told us there were a few Piggly Wiggly stores in Portland years and years ago, like in the 60s. There was one on Broadway and about 68th, close to the Binford Apartments. How about that? And thanks to our friends at the Oregon Historical Society, we have a look at Portland's store, most likely the one along Northeast Broadway. We don't have an exact date on this, but it's between 1933 and 41. This picture shows a Buick being given away as part of an ivory soap promotion. And it turns out Portland was not the only home of the Piggly Wigglies in Oregon, by the way. Lori wrote to us to say, fun fact, there was a Piggly Wiggly in Bend, Oregon in the 60s. My mom shopped there. We couldn't find any photos of that store, but we did uncover this one in the Historical Society's digital collection. You can see it's from Pendleton, showing the Pendleton Hotel there. But if we zoom in the store sign on the left hotel, you can see Piggly Wiggly right there, partially covered by a street light. According to the envelope, this picture was taken way back in 1945.